chapter number 16 verse number 19 I just want you to understand when I speak about the spiritual key what do I mean when I speak about the key I mean of authority and power ninaposungumza juu ya kifunguo ninamaanisha nguvu na mamlaka when you have the key you have the power you have the authority to access the house wakati uko na kifunguo uko na nguvu uko na mamlaka ya kutawala kila nyumba but when you have no key wakati hauna ufunguo it is impossible for you to move or for you to operate in the house some of us we are so much frustrated wengine tumevunjika mioyo wengine tumeshubaa kwa sababu vifunguo zetu our keys was stolen vifunguo zetu ziliibwa our keys got lost vifunguo zetu zilipotea praise the name of jesus but glory be to the lord ya kwamba leo we are going to recover our keys naenda kupokea vifunguo vyetu katika jina la Yesu mali zilipotea Bwana anafanya rejesho na each and every one of us is going to move forward anaenda kushonga mbele haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe soma pamoja nami katika kitabu cha Mathayo 16 Ah, ah, mstari wake ni wa 19. Maandiko yanasema maneno haya. Nitakupa fukuo za ufame wa mbinguni. Na lolote utakalo lifungua duniani litakuwa lime lolote utakalo lifunga duniani litakuwa limefungwa mbinguni. Na lolote utakalo lifungua duniani litakuwa limefunguliwa mbinguni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Bible says that nitakupa ufunguo wa ufame the key of the kingdom of heaven kifunguo cha ufame wa mbinguni Bwana Yesu asifiwe wote power wote might wote authority when you are given the key of the kingdom of heaven because in heaven is where everything spiritually is being told pale mbinguni ndio kila kitu cha kiroho kimewekwa before you receive your blessings you need to receive it in a spiritual realm kabla upokee baraka zako lazima usipokee katika anga ya kiroho bwana yesu asifiwe na niposa mungu akasema ama yesu akasema aonote ambalo litafungwa hapa duniani litafungwa na mbinguni kitu akiwezi kikafungwa kama ufunguo aupo na kitu akiwezi kikafunguliwa kama ufunguo ufanye nini aupo for you to access ili wewe ufungue ili wewe uingie kwa nyumba lazima uwe na ufunguo praise the name of jesus ili wewe uingie kwa nyumba lazima uwe na ufunguo ili wewe ufunge kitu hapa duniani lazima uwe na ufunguo ili wewe ufungue kitu pale mbinguni lazima uwe na ufunguo you can't operate without a key awezi fungua bila kifunguo but today there is a master key praise the name of jesus when christ is the door wakati yesu ni mlango maombi ni ufunguo is saying in ma in John chapter 14 verse 14 of many lonote kwa jina lako haleluya na jina hilo ni Yesu sasa Yesu akiwa ni ufunguo maombi ana Yesu akiwa ni mlango maombi anakuwa ni ufunguo so we have been given a door and we have been given a key kuna malango there is a door before us kuna malango mbele yetu naweza enda usimame kwa mlango na ukue very frustrated kwa sababu unafunguo lakini ukiwa na ufunguo au tabia ya kufungua unafungua mwenyewe haleluya sijui kama 
kuna mtu anaelewa mafundisho haya kabla hatujamaliza siku ya leo tunaenda kupokea kufunguo shetu na tunaenda kufunguo haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe praise the name of jesus one of my friend rafiki yangu mmoja alikuwa ananiambia alikuwa amefunga ameomba Mungu kwa siku kadhaa na alikuwa anaomba Mungu anamwambia Mungu katika huduma ninahitaji ufukuo na ana, akasema kuwa alipokuwa amelala akaona ni kama kuna a bunch of kids vifunguo vingi zimerushwa na yeye akachukua kuanzia hiyo siku mahali popote alikuwa anaenda abishi anaambiwa umekaribishwa tuambie kila bacho unahitaji kwa sababu katika namna ya kiroho alipotea kufunguo so mahali popote alikuwa anaenda alikuwa anaenda tu anaingia maana anajua he has kufunguo bwana yesu asifiwe so that means when you have the key ukiwa na kifunguo uko na mamlaka bwana yesu asifiwe awambiwi kuwa ustahili kuingia unaingia kwa sababu unaelewa so the key is the symbol of authority praise the name of jesus kifunguo kinawasilisha mamlaka fulani ambayo mkristo amepewa kifunguo ni utawala ambayo mtume ah ambayo mkristo amepewa bwana yesu asifiwe kifunguo ni nguvu ambazo wewe mwombezi umepewa ili uingie mahali popote ambapo unahitaji haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe i'm just an introduction for you to know the key the bible says a king of you the keys of the kingdom of heaven whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven and whatever that you you, you open on earth shall be opened in heaven when i was was feeling so what you need in life is the key amen, amen. jesus said i am the door and you show who comes from a different way is a thief mimi nini mlango yeyote anayeingia zizini akipitia hasa magachi pale juu huyo ni mwizi praise the name of jesus mtu alihalisi anaingia kupitia mlango praise the name of jesus na wakati unaingia kupitia mlango lazima ufanye nini ufungue praise jesus hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe Yesu ato na ufunguo wako. You need to get your key. Unastahili kupokea ufunguo wako. Ili ufungue biashara, ufungue ndoa yako, ufungue watoto wako, ufungue masomo yao, ufungue mashamba yako, ufungue magari zako, ufungue kila kitu ambacho kinahitajika kufunguliwa. You must have a key for you to open and take whatever you need from the house. We are called the children of God. And so when we are the children of God, we have the right to operate in our father's house because we have the key. Sisi ni watoto wa Mungu, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wakati tumeitwa watoto wa Mungu, tuko na ruhusa ya kuingia katika nyumba ya baba yetu na kufanya lolote ambalo tunahitaji. Kwa sababu tuko na ufunguo. Every parent when you came here for prayers. Na ukajua watoto wapo. Some of us kuna mahali tunaambia watoto tuliweka kifunguo pale. Praise the name of Jesus. Na mtoto akikuja hawezi kukimbia kanisani akoje kukuambia nipe ufunguo maana anaelewa kwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe anaelewa mahali mama yangu anaweka kifunguo anaelewa mahali baba yangu anaweka kifunguo kila bacha anahitaji ni kuenda kuchukua kifunguo na kufungua haleluya na mtoto akiwa njaa hakuna siku atakutafuta akuja kuambie niende nikule maana hapo ni kwao amen na ikiwa ni kwao yeye anaingia na anapika chakula ama anachipakulia uh, chakula anakula anashiba ama anatosheka 
Na sisi watoto wa Mungu tuko na uwezo wa kuingia katika nyumba ya baba. Tupokee mali yetu. Tuchukue ndoa zetu. Tuchukue biashara yetu. Tuchukue vipawa zetu. Tuchukue kila sehemu yetu ambaye Bwana ametuwekea kwenye nyumba yetu. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Lord has a gift for us. And we know where our father keeps the key. Tunajua mahali wasasi ama mahali baba yetu anaweka kifunguo. Sisi sio wakenya. We are not strangers anymore because God is our father. We know where the key is. Where is your key? Kifunguo chako kiko wapi? Are you a stranger in the house of God? Wewe ni mkenyi ambaye elewi kwao. Hallelujah. Without God's authority you will never be granted into places. Bila mamlaka ya Mungu hauwezi ruhusiwa kuingia mahali ama kufanya vitu fulani fulani. Because the Lord has not trusted you with the key. First, you need to be trusted with God for you to be given the key. Lazima uaminiwe na Mungu. Lazima kwanza Mungu akuamini na kizunguko. Maana most of the people they are thieves. Watu wengi ni wezi. So they cannot be trusted with the key of the house. But I assure you even if you yourself you know your children. There is a child that you will trust na umpe kifunguo. Kuna mtoto utakaye amini na umpe kifunguo. Na kuna yule anajua nikimpa atamalisha sukari. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So the same is to our God. Sawa hivyo na Mungu wetu anajua yule anaye amini katika nyumba yake. It is better for you to be trusted by God to be given a key. Ni vizuri wewe uaminiwe na Mungu upewe ufunguo. Ambia mwenzako wacha Mungu akuamini. Praise Jesus. Amen. Have you ever lost your key? Kuna mtu anaye poteza kifungu. Sometimes she may come to the house. You are from a, a very far journey. Na umefika kwako unatafuta nani hapa? Unakumbuka kwamba kifungu kilifanya nini? Kilipotea. So unashangaa. Unachanganyikiwa unashiriwa cha kufanya bwana Yesu asifiwe unaanza kusema nitafanya namna gani because kuna malango mengine sio rahisi kuvunjika bwana asifiwe sana kuna malango lazima uingishe mkono na mahali umefungia kufuli mtu hawezi ingia na akata ule kufuli so wewe utakuwa umechanganyikiwa bwana Yesu asifiwe utashiriwa cha kufanya maana kifunguo kilipo, kilipotea so When the key is lost you will be very much frustrated and stunned. Wakati kifunguo kimepotea umeutachanganyikiwa na utakwama. Kama kuna safari ilikuwa inaenda au tayari hiyo safari. Maana kifunguo kifanya nini? Akipo kimepotea Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sikiliza. Some of us our keys got lost. Wengi wetu vifunguo zetu zilipotea. Zamani the keys of our destiny were lost. Vifunguo vya hatima yetu vilipotea. That's why we are where we are. Ndio maana tuko mahali tulipo kwa sababu we lost the key. We can't operate in the house anymore because there's no key. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am here to speak to the people to the lives to the family who are very much frustrated spiritually because the spiritual keys were lost niko hapa kunena kwa maisha yako wewe ambaye umechanganyikiwa kiroho maana vifungo zako zilipotea and i'm here to recover it for you niko hapa nikurudishie vifungo zilizokuwa zimepotea wewe bwana aretese vifungo this is what we got man the some of us we lost our peace we lost our freedom we lost our faith 
We lost our money. We lost our wealth because there is no key. Hallelujah. Tulipotesa ndo wasetu. Tukapotesa biashara yetu. Tukapotesa watoto wetu kwa sababu kifunguo ilipotea. We are going to recover. Tonight na kurudisha. Tonight na kupewa tena. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, when you receive the key every day every door every place wherever you go you that sit when you have the key in other towns when you have the authority of the nation you know the one the, the, to know the one who has the authority of the nation is the one with the sword yule aliye na mamlaka ya ulimwengu ama inji fulani anapewa nini kisu this soul it symbolizes that from today you are in power praise the name of jesus from today you are the president you are the ruler praise the name of jesus now when the president receives the sword from that day everyone says mr president what about the children of the king when we have been given the king when we have the king we need no permission of man atutaji mtu atuambie sasa unaweza fungua when i have the king sitaji mtu aniambie ninaweza pona when i have the king sitaji mtu aniambie kuwa ninaweza barikiwa ninajua niko na mamlaka that is the king mama ikiwa mimi niko na mamlaka whatever i need i receive from the house and the house is god and jesus is the pathway jesus is the door praise the name of jesus when father is in the house wakati baba ko kwa nyumba na mtoto akiingia mesikia mtoto akipanda juu ya magachini anze kumwambia baba difugulie he goes direct to the door because he knows the entrance let us go direct to Christ tuende kwa Yesu maana yeye ndio malango tuingie kwa Yesu tuingie kwa baba tuchukue sehemu zetu haleluya bwana Yesu asifiwe our keys that were lost can be recovered vifungo zetu zilizopotea zinaweza patika Amen. Amen. The Bible shit says that ah uh, watoto wa manabii wakaambia nabii where we are is a very tiny place is a very small place kila batch tunahitaji let us go to the mountain twende kwa mlima tukate miti tunapokata miti tukuje tutengeneze mahali pa kuwe kubwa ah uh, lakini mmoja akamwambia nabii maana nabii alikuwa amebaki tunaomba uende pamoja nasi bwana yesu asifiwe maana huyu nabii alikuwa ni kifunguo cha na nabii akamwambia sawa tutaenda walipokuwa wanakata miti the bible says shoka likafanya nini likachomoka likaanguka ndani ya mtu akaanza kushema ole wa hili shoka didi azimu na kawa amechanganyikiwa bwana yesu asifiwe maana wengi wetu katika familia katika biashara katika kazi yetu tumechanganyikiwa tumechanganyikiwa alipokuwa amechanganyikiwa atakumbuka kuna mtu wa Mungu bwana yesu asifiwe atamwendea akamwambia nilikuwa nimeomba na nimechomoka. Nabii akamuuliza, ilikuwa wapi? Akamuonyesha mahali Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jambo la kwanza lazima ujue mahali mfungu wako ulipotelea. You need to discover. Maana angeenda amwambie shoka limechomoka na sijui mahali ilienda. You have to know praise the name of Jesus. Lazima ujue ili shoka ambalo lilichomoka liliingia wapi? Na alikuuliza twende unionyeshe mahali niliingia Bwana Yesu asifiwe You must understand ndio yangu iliharibikia wapi 
biashara yangu ilialibikia wapi jamii yangu ilialibikia wapi watoto wangu walialibikia wapi kisha uingie kwa malaka haleluya na nabii akachukua tawa kijiti akarusha na shoka alifanya nini maana alikuwa amejua mahali shoka liliaguka na wewe pia mahali kifungo chako kilipotea na tabs mahali mamlaka yako yalichukuliwa yanaweza ruti wakati umejua umeelewa mahali yalipotelea haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe jina la bwana lipewe sifa let us see the book of Isaiah chapter number 22 verse number 22 Isaiah 22 22 ah uh, Isaiah 22 22 